Matt, you talk about being fired up. Your teammates said they were fired up when you took on that safety near the sideline. Can you talk about that play, why you decided to do it, and Roddy said he didn't want you to get a concussion. <laughs> Um, you know, that's one of those situations where I was on the sideline, yards are important at that time, and time is most important, mm -hmm. and so it felt like you know, I was in a position, I was trying to look down the field to see if anything was opening up, and decided to go for the sideline, felt like I was in a position to try and, you know, get as much as I could get, and wanted to protect myself, obviously, going there, you know, so, um, you know, just put my shoulder down and trying to get as many yards as I could. But you yeah. can understand why a play like that would fire your teammates up. Um, yeah, I mean, I wasn't doing it to try and fire anybody up. I was just doing it because I felt like it was the right, mm -hmm. right thing to do at the time uh, in the situation of the game. Matt, when when you guys win on the day, where Matt Bryant banks two off the uprights, and you have three turnovers, and you have a touchdown reverse in the last minute, and you win anyway. Do you, do you allow yourself to maybe look past the the here and now of a game and just say we're on to something? Um, you know, I think good teams find, way, find ways to win, uh, even when it's not pretty. Uh, and, you know, I didn't certainly play my best football today. Uh, but we still found a way to get it done, and guys kept competing. Uh, and, and I think that's you know, what Dan talks about all the time, is regardless of the situation, you have to go out there, you have to compete. And, you know, I think guys did that today. And uh, hopefully, you know, regardless of how the rest of the season shakes out, I mean, we can't worry about that. We're going to take it one game at a time. But, you know, if we continue to do that, I think we'll be okay. Do you like a short week? Because you got one coming up and you'll be back at it on Thursday against the arch rivals. Yeah, you have no choice but to, but to like a short week. You know, that's, that's where the schedule goes. And, and um, you know, having done this a number of times now, I think, uh, you know, you understand you have to get as much rest as you possibly can between now and, and Thursday night and take care of your body. Uh, we'll be on top of our game plan. I, I don't have any, you know, concerns about that. Uh, but we've really got to make sure that everybody's doing a great job getting themselves prepared. And you were waiting on the replay uh, of, the, of the touchdown, of the non-touchdown. Did you think it was going to be overturned, and, and were you trying to prepare for that eventuality, or, or were you surprised it was overturned? Um, you know, at this point, I think playing as long as I have, I think when you're in those situations, nothing surprises you. Uh, you know, you don't know how it's going to shake out. So, I always in those situations have prepared for what do we got to do if we're back on the field. Uh, I think that, you know, you, you know, hope for the best and prepare for the worst. I mean, that's, that's kind of the way I always approach that. And so we kind of knew what we wanted to do in that situation. I thought Kyle caught a great play. Uh, and Roddy, you know, was, um, you know, did a great job of beating man-to-man -man coverage uh, in a tight situation.